Rami here. I couldn't stand being away from my human charges for a whole week. So this week, we will have six communications instead of five. I know that readers enjoyed hearing from Dolores. She is such an asset to the team. You may wonder why we present so many channeled souls in our work. And this is because these souls are different parts of God, who is so vast and so varied. There are no two souls that are alike. To get to deeply know the essence of a soul, or many souls, is to begin to deeply know the diversity of God. It is so crazy to think that the God who created such a wildly diverse natural world expects humans to walk in locksteps of conformity. It isn't God who seeks this. It is men who seek to control and dominate one another because power and strength are worshipped here in this upside-down, topsy-turvy, twisted reality. Even people with various problems or people with difficult histories or bad reputations are part of God, too. There are reasons why they did what they did. They need understanding and acceptance, not judgment and rejection. Does it surprise you that Jesus, who embraced Mary Magdalene, would also love and respect all the souls who appear in Beyond the Veil or Proverbs for a New Age? It shouldn't. Radical love or perfect love embraces everyone, no matter what. Jesus' name is tossed around so much, but few know Jesus or even know what Christ is. This is what we seek to change, not by corrected narratives, but by new versions of Jesus and Mary, living the same Christed life all over God's kingdom. Namaste. Rami.